Can you get rid of bra line indentation? As a specialist in plastic surgery, I understand how comfort is crucial in your well-being and general health. In this video, I'll talk you through your option in breast reduction surgery and how this will reduce this discomfort. If you have had any previous breast reduction surgery, please leave us your comments below. Hi, my name is Omar Tillo. I'm the medical director of Cryo Clinic in central London on Harley Street. Uh, I'm a plastic surgeon with special interest in body contouring surgery. How to get rid of bra line indentations. If you suffer from indentations on your shoulder as a result of the bras, there are non-surgical options to reduce these, such as a well-fitted bra which distribute the weight on the shoulder. Uh, secondly, you can use moisturizing cream to improve the quality of the skin. And lastly, you can use uh, makeup or concealers to uh, disguise any marks. However, these options have their limitations and may not completely get rid of those marks. Another more effective way to get rid of the bra line indentations is the surgical breast reduction. And the benefit of this is first reducing the volume and the weight of the breast. And secondly, it achieves lifting effect so you don't have to uh, rely on your bras to achieve that lift. So breast reduction procedure is a surgical operation that aims to reduce the volume and the weight of the breast by removal part of the tissue. So it can be as simple as doing a liposuction to reduce the fatty component of the breast tissue, or it could be an actual surgical excision of the skin and the lower part of the breast, which at the same time achieves a lift and a reduction in the size of the cup size of the breast. So what does the recovery from breast reduction surgery looks like? Breast reduction surgery is often done as a day case procedure. You expect to go home the same day usually. For the first week, you'll be recovering, really doing little activities. It takes about a week to go back to light activities at home or working from home. Um, and it takes about two weeks to be able to go back to work in the office and to drive. And you shouldn't be doing any heavy activities, upper body activities and exercises for the first four or six weeks from the surgery. So when do you see the results from breast reduction surgery? You'll notice the improvement almost immediately following the surgery. However, your breast will be covered with dressings and with the surgical bra and then over the following uh, week or two, the breast tends to swell and be bruising. That's why it takes up to six weeks for the majority of the swelling to go down. The final shape and the final outcome, it can take up to six months for it to completely settle down. When does breast reduction surgery becomes a medical necessity? Breast reduction becomes a medical necessity when the breasts are very big and heavy, which can cause neck pain, back pain, and shoulder pain, as well as indentation from the bra straps. And many patients also suffer from recurrent infections underneath the breasts in the folds. So these situations, reduction of the breast can improve those medical condition and improve the general health of the patients. That's why a breast reduction surgery was widely offered on the NHS. However, nowadays it's become much more difficult to get these in the National Health Service. How common is breast reduction surgery? Breast reduction procedure has been around for many years and it's been well established and it has a very high record of safety and patient satisfaction and I've seen an increased uptake of this procedure and more patients coming forward asking for it. And the, the vast majority of my patients are very happy that they've made this choice. I'm here to go through your options and to make sure that you feel supported every step of the way.